global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Global Happenings City YouTube channel. It's indeed getting messier as the crisis in PDP governors for dipping. Just a few uh, days to come, they will be holding their National Executive Council and it looks as if there seem to be in politicking that is tearing the PDP governors from apart. B greater gladiators, uh, top politicians within the rank and file of PDP are beginning to speak up. And now there seem to be heavier divides as more governors are taking sides. The question now is how far can they go? Is there hope inside? The likes of Dele Mamodo have tried to speak up and give him a solution that will solve this problem once and for all. But the question is, will they adhere to it? Let's dive into the news proper. But before we do that, kindly subscribe to our channel. Now, there seems to be no solution in sight or resolution in sight to the crisis actually taking place in PDP as calls to replace the acting national chairman. Demagom have deepened divides within PDP's governor's forum. Now, a senior member of the PDP National Working Committee that as NWC uh, revealed that in addition to the backing of Federal Capital Territory Minister, minister that's yes or wiki, the Magum has the support of at least four governors from the party. That's within the neck now. He identified the four governors as Sheyi Makinde of Oyo State, Amadou Fantiri of Adamawa State, Caleb Muftuag of Plateau State, and Kefas of Ta Taraba State. Now, according to the source, while the Enugu and Zamfara State governors, Peter Mba and Daoda Lawa, respectively, are neutral, the remaining seven PDP governors are pushing out, pushing to oust out Demagom. Now, the anti Demagom governors are led by Bauchi State Governor Bala Mohammed, who is also the chairman of the PDP Governors Forum. With him are Oshu State Governor Ademola Adeleke. Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki, Bayasa State Governor Diri, River State Governor Similalai Fobara, Delta State Governor Sheriff Obuvor, and Akwaibom State Governor Umoeno. He, the source noted that Oyo State Governor Makinde led three other governors who are friends of Wiki and they are backing Damagom to continue in his acting role. Now, since assuming the role of acting national chairman after Senator AHRU was sacked by a court, Demagom has faced increasing blame from party leaders for the ongoing crisis in the PDP with calls for its resignation. The situation escalated when Demagom and other NWC members aligned with Wiki to secure approval for the controversial River State PDP Congresses and postponement of the National Executive Committee meeting from, 2000, from September 20, 2024 to October 24. 2024. Tension between Wiki and the current River State Governor heightened on August 24, following public backing for Fubara from PDP governors who called for a review of River State Congresses and reaffirmed Fubara's leadership. Wiki responded aggressively on August 31st, threatening to disrupt activities in the Governor State if they continued interfering in River State matters. Hear what Dele Mamadu has got to say concerning this whole issue once and for all. Now, the chieftain of um, PDP, that Dele Mamadu, has criticized individuals who are excavating the crisis within the party, describing them as cowards. His strong criticism comes as Governor Omar Fantiri of Adamawa State publicly reaffirming his unwavering support for Ambassador Omar Damagom as the national chairman of the party, even though um, Atiku Abubaka is from Adamawa itself, this, as the state. Now, Fentiri praised Damagum's leadership and credited him with a restoring public confidence in the party. However, this latest endorsement by Fentiri deepened the existing division within the party, which has struggled to unite following the 2023 presidential elections. Mamadou, who has been deeply involved in the party's crisis, has encouraged those opposing the PDP to join the All-Progressive Congress once and for all. In a post on his social media page, let me quote him word for word, said, Fellow Nigerians, what hope is there for a country where opposition leaders shamelessly and flagrantly work for the ruling party while destroying their own? What honor comes to a man who hijacks position for himself and his co and his co-conspirators with the active connivance of renegades against the constitution of his own party. Hiding behind an unchallenged court order is like hiding behind one finger. If they are not cowards, why are they afraid of joining the ruling party? Where they know they will be treated like trash. 
in their short-sightedness, they have forgotten the unassailable truth and lessons of history. Those claiming to be fighting for the Southern presidency were, were ready to be vice president to the Northern candidate, but started throwing tantrums when one of them was not chosen. It is a fact. Those who hope to be the sole benefactor and beneficiary of a Southern candidacy threw open the race in the first instance, using their proxies on the zonal panel so that it will not be narrowed down to the Southeast. When tomorrow comes, they will be remembered as the real enemies of Nigeria, no matter how much they are profiting currently from the mystery of the people. Those are the words of the people. Those are the words of um, Deli Mamadu, my colleague is in the house. What's your take on this drama? Well, uh, Deli Mamadu had been known as one person that keeps telling the truth. He's a media expert and uh, he doesn't depend on political money. He has his way of making his money. So I, I think he's one of the politicians that we can talk of in Nigeria as not being a product for buy. And being that he's not a product for political buy, uh, he has the right to hit the nail on the head anytime, any day. I think he's one of the persons that have been so open. Wike is his very close friend, but he tackles Wike every now and then. If you listen to the content of that write-up, you know that he's directing everything at Wike, he you is. know, because at least one uh, SDM had uh, told Nigerians, that's in it, you know, he had told Nigerians that Wike, after everything, was seeking with all his heart for the position of a vice president. Unfortunately, he was not being given and all of that. But like what he had said, it's it's a huge shame, you know, that up till now people are yet to understand what is going on. I know that most of them do not want, you know, PDP to upturn the government of Bola Metinibu. Most of them do not want it, and the reason is very clear. They are waiting for him to finish his tenure so that by the time 2020 or 2031 will come, the likes of Atiku would have been all. Sorry, 2020, 2031 okay, will 20. come. You know, they don't want to disrupt Bola Metinibu's government. So, whatever move that Wiki is going to take to see how they can, you know, uh, trash whoever that will, you know, come up there, they are cool with it. Why? Because they know when it is 30, 2031. They will now have an opportunity, you know, the opportunity of, because by that time, I think Abubaka would have been a very old man, and most Nigerians may not want to, you know, root in for him, okay. you know. And so, by that time, most of these guys that we are seeing in PDP today will be going for that number one position, especially the Northerners. Most definitely. Fintiri may go for it. I know that Bala Mohammed is a young guy. I know that he may likely go for it. Apart from that, and other people. So, some of them, they see beyond Bala Mohammed. That's why they're trying to support Bala Mohammed, sorry, support Wiki, because Wiki has a very strong hold in the South. In the South. So, if I can get the support of Wiki and get, at least I'm so sure that River State will be for keeps for me, based on the fact that his loyalty or his structure is everywhere. That's why we are seeing all this game play out. But then, it's going to demolish this party. Give it time. Because at a point, when people get very upset with what is going on, I'm already foreseeing a new party, which will be an extract from this PDP. An extract of this PDP will leave to form another party, which will end up messing up this whole party. I, I think they are the oldest for 25 years. Yes. We've not heard anything about change of name and all of that or merging with yes. other political yes. parties. Yes. They are the oldest. So a lot of the things going on, for me, I think it's going to, at the end of the day, will result to um, um, the destabilization of the party. And it's not good enough. You know, even for them politicians, because how can you be so filled with be, uh, betrayal that you do things and you don't even think about it? Now, one more question. Don't you think with the um, PDP governors forum not standing together, you can imagine uh, four out of the whole lot are already standing with Wiki. Don't you think with that, with them not standing together, the Magom is going nowhere and uh, Wiki's Congress will stand in River State? Yeah, well, we are here to decide because, number one, the next meeting is going to hold. And thus far, by virtue of the percentage, uh, still a reasonable number of the South, uh, sorry, a reasonable number of the, the governor's, governor's uh, forum, members of the governor's forum, are still yes. against this person and they are against the Magom. So, somehow, I think that... Uh, 
you cannot right now decide on it. But I know that there is an underground politicking going mm. on. A lot of people, oh, a lot of them have not even spoken. The likes of uh, Akwai Bumse Governor, we've not heard much from but him. But he has given his you know, support to... He has given his support. Yeah. We've not heard anything. He has not said anything. Uh, because the last Taraba State uh, meeting, he wasn't there, you know. We have other guys too who have not really shown. But I like the fact that Deleke just came up immediately and said, this is my stand on this issue, you know. And you do, funny enough, when Shea Makinde was talking, he said, I am my people here. Deleke was, they just kept him quiet. Of course. That's why immediately he left. You know, he the also, next day, he, he gave his first statement immediately yeah. and said, I'm, I'm not a part of whatever yeah. you are saying. You because invited me for your Exactly. Your I am Ocean State Governor, so you cannot speak on my behalf. Yeah. And I, I like Ocean that. Mode, I'm not a small child. You understand? So right now, the situation is getting very cumbersome and very unpredictable. We are yet to close it. But Damagom himself, Himself, will be doing the little he can but i feel at this point that the constitution should be abided with because that's the right thing all right that's gonna wrap it up i guess i just hope that other governors will not see themselves as assistant governors to anybody you need to start making a stand and if you ask me why don't you go with the stand of the constitution of the party and don't be an assistant governor to anybody simply because you are currying